Hello, welcome back to Subterrain and we're going deeper and deeper into the mines and it's becoming a little scary because we had the train station and the train depot and then you go into the mines but I guess I should show you so you start in the train station go to storage and then you go over here that's mine A I think this is where I started off before I went into the station with a fire pit that was very very long and now we have another option over here. I mean, this looks so cool. Look at this. It's filled with water. It, you hear the nice relaxing sounds of water. And then you just go over here and you see a big building and a ladder. Wow, that was pretty hard. Oh, they give me a lot of experience for getting the code right, and yeah. Not a bad minigame. I think the problem with this minigame is that... Well, you don't have enough time to see where the code is, because you are looking at what it's showing you on the screen instead of looking how where to click. <laughs> and sometimes it, get con it gets confusing, but I guess I mastered the game unintentionally. I mean the hacking game. Equipment vials. Oh. Chlorine, chloramine, and chlorine dioxide. That's concentrated, which, which should make them more effective with a longer half life. Okay, so, so far. From what I can see, I already have the engineering thing, the tech chip, I have the water station treatment valves, I have the hydrogen battery which was needed for the generator upgrade. Uh, yeah, it didn't really say how where you... So in the other episode, I didn't know what to do with the hydrogen battery, but yeah, you need it for the generator. It says it said go to Lipsy, but I went to Lipsy, nothing. Sorry about the pronunciation. Nothing happened, Judith, nothing happened, so yeah. We already have three of the of so we have three upgrade items for the camp. Furnace blueprints, nano fertilizer log, and DNA samples. We need a few more. Also finished making the hydrogen, so I guess I can upgrade the ship more or less. Well I guess I can make the hydrogen. I'm not sure if this will start a quest or something. Because as you can see, the airship needs hydrogen as a thing. I'm not sure about the other ones. So, you can basically make the modified fuel canister super easy because you just need two concentrated methane extract, basically. That easy to make. You just need 40 methane ore. So I could use the train and escape right now. Escape. I say escape, but that's a harsh word. Probably we, need to st we still need to go to the 10th level. To open something because you need the access code for something. It's a pool? Why, why do we have a swimming pool over here? Well, I guess it's not a swimming pool, but still. I guess it's a water treatment facility to make drinking water out of the nearby water supply. Okay, so I guess this is the, the water processing plant where they used to get water from, at this level. Okay, so we got what we wanted from this area. I assume level 4 will be the final upgrade for the camp, but you never know. Also, sadly, we have another attack coming for our base, which is kind of annoying, but what can you do? You saw how much... <laughs> you see how much uh, management you need to do with the base. Nanocellulose. I'm, I'm actually uh, harvesting a lot of nanocellulose because I want a lot of money. Because I recycle most of my plants and have a lot of nanocellulose, well, guess who's rich? Me. 
So yeah, the game still needs more balancing, I think. Any fusion, that sounds nice. I'm using the nano stuff as much as I can so I get the better stuff. Fusion, what is that? Better control over your nanobots and passive increase to mutation infection, to nano infection. So I have. I get rid of the nano infection faster. And I have better nano resistance. Well, I have a feeling this will be super, super useful at some point, so let's just take that one. Speaking about that, let me see something else over there. What about my gun perks? Do I do I need to take something else from here? I mean, I don't really want to take this one, the rifle mastery. Because I only get a little bit of an extra critical chance. Well, I guess at this level it's worth it because it will be 2 plus... I don't know, it doesn't seem... Like it's worth it because you'd get only a slight increase in critical chance. So two. So I get one more critical chance. I know that's important and that, but eh, I just cannot bring myself to do it. At least not for now. I want to see if we have anything else. Oh, 11 for this one. So as you can see, if you level up to 10, you probably will get all of the perks available to you. But to level them up to max, you probably need to be 20 at least. That's an interesting way to balance the game, it's very easy to get access to all of the abilities of a weapon, well, very easy, it took me a lot of time, but then you still have to upgrade them if you want. Anyway, the idea is that you have continuous progression, no matter if you need it or not, so that it exists. Oh, I saw that from a mile away. I was looking at it because I didn't understand if I need to use some of the, you know, the grappling arm thingy. Sonic launcher, that looks like a launcher. I guess I can still mine some lithium ore, and though I, no, I'm pretty sure I will not need more of it. Sonic launcher and the sonic charge. That area and anything caught in the. Well, there is my launcher! <laughs> I guess it does 120 to 150 damage plus the knockback and it also has 100% critical chance. So I guess it's more or less the same as the plasma launcher except it doesn't do as much damage and probably we can use it more freely because it will never give it will never be over. I mean it will it will be a craftable item. Yeah, but again, you don't get all of the bonuses you get from the rifle to the launcher, so you have the that's my launcher, the sonic launcher, the minigun. Well, I guess that's all of the weapons then. Might be all of the weapons. Let me check over here. So, hit sync. Oh, we, we are still missing the flamethrower. We have the laser minigun, the launcher, which looks like the sonic launcher. Shotgun, well... I'm not sure about the shotgun. It seems like we don't really have a... Standalone shotgun, we just got the shotgun that was the old one, the old version. Oh well, doesn't matter. Probably the shotgun will still count, should count as a rifle, but I see why they didn't do it like that. It would be just too powerful. <laughs> so 
so funny that I saw that secret so so easily. Is on the red. I guess most of my repair kits are repairing the mining equipment. In the gun anyway. Need to go over there. I also think this is leveling up either strength or endurance, so that's why I'm also mining a lot of stuff like that. My gun gets a lot of views. That looks like another type of war, but it's still the same one. Tricky, I guess. Hmm, okay. I'll probably not go to defend the base because how bad can it be, right? <laughs> so the other video, you know, it's not so bad now. Ah, this cannot attack the roots. Now, also, I'm collecting a lot of meat and ore because I might need it to craft more things in the base. I might also craft the train hydrazine fuel thingies, so yeah. Take as much as you want. Probably it's not worth. Oh yeah, probably it's not worth uh, recycling the meat and ore. Huh? I don't understand this map. Oh. oh, I didn't see. I didn't even see that ladder over there. I don't think you have to use the grab button, it seems like it will, you'll arrive there through some hidden passageway. The grab button is used to catch monsters, not other things. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll just assume we can go down to the next level and then come up near that platform or something. So where in West Mine A, B, I think we have, yeah, that will be West Mine C or something like that and then we'll be able to go to the next level. It should be getting more and more interesting. Oh, we're already 08. Well, that's nice. How did you miss a boulder? Now, I've been thinking of keeping my <laughs> my poison helmet in my inventory and I said, no, no, we'll not keep it because we'll not need it. But now, we need it. I have a feeling this will be a long poison road. Exactly what it was. Eh, yeah, but I also have two antitoxins with me. I have a bad feeling about this, like, if I go down below it will be even more toxic and poison and then I'll have to come back up again. Yeah, I need a belt upgrade. That's why I don't have to carry all of those items with me. So, if I use the... I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. <laughs> it 
will be tricky to come out again. Assets, Peter. Extreme acid. While wearing this mask, one can spit a chemical acid at nearby enemies. What is nano energy to activate? Now, that's an upgrade I can get behind. Oh, thank you, game. Oh, you're okay. Well, let's try. Oh, it actually levels up your mutation and it's costing nano, so... I don't know, I might just skip it so I can increase my nano levels faster. I guess it's affected by fire as well. <laughs> I like this game so much. The meter now seems to look a little different here. I guess you can take a look. I really wish it would show you the experience. Or you can only fire at, at enemies. Okay, there. I guess that makes sense. Is there anything else in here that I need? Probably not. Hmm, I'm not sure if that's so good now that I'm looking at it again. But it's an interesting item. A lot of victim is going my way, I don't think we need more than we already have. So remember, you can just, if you don't have a pickaxe, you can put the pickaxe away and you still have a very high chance of getting the ore. Simply, simply because your chance of mining is very very much increased, so I guess your bare hands are as strong as the hulks now. You're just ripping minerals out of the rock. Kind of brutal if you think about it, right? Oh, and this would be probably area B. Storage area, so I guess this would be a storage area. Yeah, but I want to go up the mine and go and get that other item. Well, I hope there will be a, a ladder or something here. And also let this weapon destroy itself. You gonna not repair it. Yeah. Go and see what's down below. It's easy to see which ones are active because they move. <laughs> They're bleeding as well. I think I'll need more air filters. Actually no. I have enough I have enough air filters. I guess it worked, so I really have enough. Also, it's a bit weird that the, that the filtering stations and the power stations don't have their own, you know, icons on the map. Like that's an oversight, because you might miss the area and then you don't know where it is. Yeah, this looks like a mining area. Fire, yes, so technically I would need to have a lot of equipment with me at all times. Yes, 
Let's work that well, unless I'm missing something. What's wrong with these enemies? Why are they so passive? Bin. By fight you mean a gunfight, I'm in. Fine, let's fight the little spaghetti monster. I'm busy. Oh, there are more pits. Well, that's concerning. A digger? I don't remember this particular enemy. What do you mean a digger? Dirty shell. Not everyone can be big and strong like us. Now about this area, wow, as you can see my oxygen is lasting a lot longer because I'm using the advanced ones. It's scary when it gets dark like that. I have to run another fire gauntlet, really, game? No, I need my flame resistance stuff again. turns well I guess this is the point of no return but it feels like we already have to go back to the surface anyway so let's save over there yeah it, it's a bit annoying so I have to figure out how to get on that other side maybe I need to use a skill like dash or something probably I need to use dash on that other one I'll have to go back and check if I can use dash to go on the other side of the water hmm, I also need my yeah, I don't know. I think it's okay. You see this, you need to come back over here. It's not such a big problem. You need the fire cape as well as the fire resistant equipment. Otherwise, we'll not make it there in time. I guess I can come back, but let me just explore this area entirely and then we'll come back to the surface and do whatever we have to do. I guess that's a lot of metal. Not leaving anything behind. What's the idea? What's the idea with all of these small things? Okay, I don't get it. It seems like this is a waste of time, but... So 
but there are big holes and small holes. The bigger ones are from the other bigger bugs. The only reason I'm doing this is because... This might be for another type of armor or something. Nano fertilizer log. Oh, okay. Besides meat and rotting body in the hole, you find some old dusty documents. Super efficient anti grade fertilizer. Yeah, it should be useful. That's for the farm. Interesting. Well, yeah, I barely use the grenades and I don't think we'll get nano mutations with our current upgrades. Well, not, it's not like the enemy can reach us. Okay, let's search in the bigger pits as well. Probably just more mutant bone. By the way, the way I understand this is you're just, you're just digging up a pit and you find a dead mutant in it. Not much else to it. Not like someone buried the bones over there. Nope, just the mutant. Uh, whoa, that looks like a puzzle. I'm afraid of puzzles in this game. Wait, why does that look so weird? Oh, that's because that's the next aerial exit? Let's take a lander move around. I think that was the whole purpose. Red gun. I'm afraid of that fumble chance. So this should allow you to rotate items, of course. Okay, so this looks like a bunker. Or... Almost a bunker. They seem to have been building a lot into it. I don't care. Oh, this is one of those others. Well, I guess it has the same <laughs> assets as the cloning vats in the research lab. Oh, what? Hmm, this cannot be right. So you have storage area over there and then... That looks like it might be another way out. Hope the reactor is okay. I'm getting a little hungry and sleepy.
Wait, is this my second? No. Okay. Can't lose this pickaxe. Oh no, that was just a weird... I didn't need to come back over here. Anyway, as you can see, we're getting near to 200 HP, which makes us super, super tanky. Plus, our protection is kind of beyond what these monsters can do. I don't know. It's like there's a problem with the armor system. Eliminated, thank you. I had the feeling that would happen. I'm also trying to keep a mental map of the places I've been and what I have to do in the next episode, but it seems like it's getting a little harder to remember all of this stuff. Storage areas are just getting bigger and bigger. I guess if it uses nano energy, it should give me nano experience. Well, I guess you can, wow, you can use it a lot. I'm clearing the area because I'm afraid there will be something else over here. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but... It's like the bosses are most like most <laughs> surprise bosses. I mean, you don't enter an area and it, you'll see that it's a clear boss fight. You just enter an area and say, oh, hello. You have been challenged to Mortal Kombat. You have to accept, okay. Massive storage area. What is this? A power? This is the power unit, so I guess the elevator will be near. Yeah, this is probably the elevator. Could be wrong. Yeah, and probably have to play the game off camera and just walk everywhere so I don't miss any buried ID tags. Where's the elevator if that's the power station? So. Level 80 storage, I guess. By storage, they mean a lot of storage and a lot of heavy utility. Something is glowing before you kill something, that means it's. An ID tag, and we need it. Ah, to give you a lot of medical supplies so I was thinking what if no I think that the second time you'll play the game to be a lot easier because from what I can see there are not a lot of enemies on the levels themselves so when you reach your location it will not have a lot of infection but if you leave it alone without power it will get a lot of infection so it seems like the hardest area to fight in is an area you previously visited and you don't have the power on turned a bit weird but I am Yes, that's a design choice. Uh, 
Uh, what do you mean by that? For example, if I go to a new area, I probably will face, let's say, 10 enemies. But if I go back to an area I previously visited and I didn't have the power on, maybe I'll face 20 enemies or even stronger enemies than I would have faced normally. This storage area A. have the elevators here, that's great. Yeah, so... It can get a little confusing because of... You can access certain areas to various locations. Ah, okay, whatever. I don't think they'll follow me anyway. This, this is just another medical area. Wait, what was that I just picked up? There lies canister. For collecting ashes from the underground medical facility. Okay, let's use our big brains now. So it said the medical needed DNA samples, but it's a sterilized can. Underground medical facility. I assume this means I have to go back to the underground medical facility, which was B04. Well, now the plot thickens because I don't know what to do. I have a lot of things to do. Anyway, it's much better than I thought because I thought the last part of the game will just be exploring. Oh. Cremator. Not pressure and currently sealed. The pile of ashes, the last. Sealed. Oh, that's true. So if it's sealed, it means the ashes have not been touched by contamination. Okay, so you just get the ashes. Huh, but that's not an upgrade item for, a, for the base, so I don't understand what it is. I guess it will be the, it will transform into DNA samples and then I can use them to upgrade medical facility. Huh, it actually killed something. Why do we have an observation area for the cremation area? Seems suspicious, but eh. Hey. I like those monsters a lot, even though it's not very clear what they do. I think people said they are, were having some problems. They will have some problems with the IDs because if they don't get into our inventory, they might disappear or something like that. So, I want to have at least one clear space for that.
Where are your fury? With his sense of revenge, he could set its sight on greater challenges. Beautiful story. My precious, I'll show you again in six winters and four sunsets. Let's. I have to do another puzzle. Yeah, hey, that's another ID tag. And you clearly see. Okay, that's so nice that they actually took the time to do this. Oh, that one was near the grave, okay. It's a treasure trove of ID tags. Uh, sounds terrible. It's on the bottom. Which one was the riddle one? Winters and four sunsets. Six. Six north, four west. One. Two. Oh, okay. So it was the instruction for the pit. Okay, now we can leave peace with peace at mind because I didn't miss anything. So that was just a riddle to get that other item. It's just a book apparently. Well, I say just a book, probably it will have another meaning sometime, somewhere, someplace. Hey, inventory being full is not a reason to turn down good loot. Okay, I like this area a lot. I mean, it does show that the developers put a lot of thought into the layout of the levels. It's not just that you go into a mine every level. No, no, you have very specific buildings you are visiting and locations. I should probably equip my axe. Whoa, auto save. I'm afraid of a bug or a game breaking bug if it auto saves while I'm doing something. of lazy miners, they barely have any methane in their storage containers. Wait, that's not the way I came, so that's another area entirely. Yeah, this is going to be one of those complicated games that just gets better and better, so that's the remarkable thing. Oh, so this kind of loops around. Yeah, but the game seems to get better and better because it just gets more interesting and more complex and, and though the challenge of the combat is not really there anymore, there are still other things that are interesting. But I guess I'll have to sort out this mess with the location of items and such on my own and come back with the flame resistant gear. I don't know, probably I'll have to change the way I equip my character. Seems like we just need to have the fire resistant equipment on us all the time so we don't have to think about it like that. Anyway, the next time, actually before I end the video, I just want to see how this looks. Oh yeah, it looks exactly as I thought it would look. Huh. 
doesn't have a lot of durability. Maybe after I rebuild it, it will have more durability. Oh, yeah. Okay, that, that looks kind of funny. Okay. Let's prepare this for the thumbnail. See you next time. Bye-bye.